in this video, we left Moab, Utah, then drove over to Goblins Valley and visited Capitol Reef National Park. And then we went south to Bryce Canyon. And then we finished up at Zion National Park as well. Okay, so we left Willow Springs this morning, heading to the western part of the state to hit the three national parks and head south. Right now, we are getting off of Highway 24 and I'm gonna go check out Goblin Valley. So it was highly recommended. To, uh, Jess is dropping her Jeep and they're gonna load up in the van with me and we're gonna go check it out. More to come. We're at the Wild Horse, right? Yeah, little, little Wild Horse Trailhead. We turned right before entering the Goblin Valley State Park. I don't think we're gonna actually enter enter the park, so we just don't have time for it. But this is about a five mile drive, and you get to see some pretty cool sights. Lots of BLM and free camping if you like desert camping. Archer just jumped this like a freaking pro. The Trin, I don't know if she can get up. Come on, Trin. Come on. Come on, Freddy. Oh. Hold on, stand back. Good oh, girl. No, we're not gonna play. No. Shit. No. Yep, that's, that's, that's a shit head right there. <laughs> Good doggy. Bad dog. Hey, you stay near me. Come on. Come on, buddy. It's okay.
I can to this opening. But I think we're having to climb those rocks. And I don't like the dogs in me. Pretty cool area though. What's the, what's the verdict of the hike? Uh, I think it's my favorite so far. Beautiful. I'm glad we were able to bring the dogs out here. Didn't do any research, kind of just stumbled upon it. And those are sometimes the best hikes to find. This is the first time we've ever been on a slot canyon type of hike. It's pretty cool. We were able to do the entire route, but uh, what we saw was absolutely breathtaking. Like a sunrise warming us up Been spending all your time lifting me up All of the things I've been wearing We're at the BLM field office in Hanksville, I think. And they have free water so filling up the water tank which there are more locations like this makes it very easy hi you being a little boy want some of this water We're just outside of Capitol Reef now looking for a campsite. I uh, found quite a few already, but Jess is scoping out an area that we And she just told me to get my ass over there, so I think she likes this campsite. drop off there but there's a nice fire pit down there i don't know if you want to take the van down there i can make it down there Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Oh, hello there. Hello. hello. What you doing under there, huh? You okay? I'll cover you back up, buddy. What? 
Cannonville if I can. Had a good night at this campsite right outside of Capitol Reef. So today we're gonna tour around Capitol Reef a little bit and then make our way south. And I think we found a spot on I Overlander to camp at some dispersed camping outside of Bryce Canyon National Park. We made reservations at Nellis Air Force Base for this coming Sunday. And we're just gonna stay there for two days, kind of regroup. Get laundry done clean out the van because it is absolutely disgusting with all of this sand and dirt and whatnot and then figure out our plan for entering california more to come Archer normally doesn't get human food, but he's gotten quite accustomed to his morning snack when we have yogurt. Such a spoiled dog. And a very messy eater. This is drooling. Oh, oh all my over God. my coat. Bud. Right, you disgusting monster. Oh, well, now I see some deer. Are those deer out there, bud? You are so gross.
Yes. We are now going to the Gifford House. Speak up. We are going to the Gifford House, which apparently is a small museum of Mormon, local Mormon history. And apparently they have good pies made from the local orchards here. That's what you care about, not the history or museum. Well, that's accurate, absolutely. Happy? Yes. Natural Bridge in Capitol Reef. Pretty dang amazing. Fairly short hike. About one mile. You were just complaining that it wasn't a mile. It doesn't feel like a mile because a lot of it's uphill. <laughs> So that's all we're doing at Capitol Reef. We're about to leave the National Park and then we're going to take Highway 12, which is supposedly one of the most scenic drives in America, and take that south to Bryce Canyon National Park area and find some camping. So highly recommend Highway 12 between uh, Capitol Reef and Bryce. It's a gorgeous drive, very remote, and the views are just incredible with all the rocks and different colors and whatnot. I'll show you what I mean. So let it shine, shine, shine. 
What do you think of the view, buddy? You just enjoying it? What's out there? Well, we made it right outside of Bryce National Park. And I think we're in the Dixie National Forest. We're kind of kind of out there, but surprisingly we have cell phone coverage and absolutely no one around us, which you can see the scenery too. It's definitely changed back in the forest, which is what I like. All right, had a good night at Dixie National Forest, left this morning, and today is all about Bryce Canyon National Park.
campsite for the night. We are now just outside of Zion National Park. <laughs> what? Oh, are you? Dirt. Not bad. No. But this is what people don't get to see. A nice dinner on the bed. <laughs> people don't want to see. In the dog bed. Tacos. Okay, leaving camp, we were on some BLM land right outside of Zion National Park, and we're about to check out the last national park for Utah, which is Zion. Had a fun night last night searching for this. The lanyard got snagged on a bush while I was out walking around, and we spent a good 30 minutes searching for it. So that was fun. We had a spare, but... I'm ready to choke you. More to come. Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind On the Paris Trail, Prius. I have no idea how to say it. This yep. place is a madhouse. Place is extremely busy today. It's a Saturday. We're taking the pups on a walk on the only trail that's allowed in the park, right by the visitor center. It kind of sucks that we're so limited on what we're able to do. Up falling for me 
to this day I don't know how I think about it constantly I promise I won't let you down But when I asked you told me yes We are now heading to Grafton Ghost Town. Jess wants to see it. We just left Zion National Park. See any ghosts? Not yet. All right, we have officially left Utah, which means that's going to be it for this video. We are actually right outside of Little Field, Arizona, I believe. Boondocking on a little river. It's hot. It's like 75 degrees. So that's a big change. But we will check back with you in a bit once the camp is set up and let you know our thoughts on Utah before we end this video. Bryce Canyon. Capitol Reef and Zion. It's a shame we didn't get to see most of it. There you have it. Three down. How many more to go? A lot. I know. I don't believe it. Archer, lay down, buddy. Sit. Get your bow. Sit. Get, Get your bow. Get your bow. Get that bow. Okay, we are officially out of Utah, like I said, so we're going to wrap this video up and just give you our thoughts on Utah. So first question, Jess, what was your favorite part of Utah? Thanks. I still think it's Valley of the Gods. I was going to ask you what, what was your favorite national park, but still uh, Valley of the Gods? Bryce. Bryce? Okay. Yeah. Why? I think the scenery was just absolutely stunning. I remember at one point yesterday, gosh, days, days have just run together. Was it yesterday or the day before? When I just looked at it, I said, that it looks like a scene from a movie that there should be dragons flying around. It was just absolutely, I mean, like out of this world. Okay, but favorite spot in the whole state was what? I'd say Valley of the Gods. Okay. That was the first place we went, so I guess everything else was a disappointment. No! <laughs> no! 
far from it. I think Utah is absolutely spectacular. It's out. weird. It's kind of a weird place. I know you, you're not crazy about the desert, but no, the desert up here, I think it is absolutely... It's cool. I like it. I just wouldn't want to live... Like, I'm not leaving here like I left Colorado thinking, I want to live there. I, I could live there. I, I don't think I could live in Utah. We've been kind of off the beaten path, too, so I'm sure there's some nice cities or towns yeah maybe uh, we've been out in what is he doing watching the sunset no <laughs> what are you doing what <laughs> looks like you're doing something no. <laughs> okay rubbing his butt uh, i think what i was blown away with with utah though is the amount of blm and public lands they are plentiful you don't have to look far to find a spot to pull up and park for the night. We didn't pay for any of our spots here. No, uh, no, and I mean, any outdoor activity, if you have an ATV or UTV, you hike, backpack, yeah. mount, mountain biking trails I mean, everywhere on all the BM, BLM land. Yep. Um, Capitol Reef, you don't have to pay anything um, as far as exploring that national park. There's one drive where I think you do, but that's a free national park for the most part. Um, so I, I think that's my big takeaway was the public lands. They really value that. And it's very easy to camp here for absolutely zero money. What I don't like about it. Can you guess or no? 5% beer. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I know. They are dumb. If they think that that is somehow regulating or controlling something i don't understand i mean you might as well make it an oduls only state that's the dumbest rule ever and they have these stupid liquor stores like I, I don't get it i really don't get it maybe someone can explain it to me but what else let's see here um one thing i'm really glad that we did was i'm glad i broke down and let us do the Schaefer Trail. Let oh, you us. let us, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I, let us. I did let us because I was not having it. Well, that was really awesome. Uh, lots of fun. I'm glad we did it. Yep. You didn't like it, huh? Did you like it, Trey? She likes the camping part, not so much the traveling part. And he's the opposite. He likes the traveling part. He doesn't. Oh, but he's getting some bone, bone time in. So enjoying the sunset. This is the only good part of desert camping is when the sun goes down, temperature goes down, and it's nice. But our plan tomorrow is to be at Nellis Air Force Base for a couple days, right? Doing laundry. Lots of laundry. And we're going to clean out the dog. van just so it can get dirty again. There but we're trying to figure out if we're going to go north in Nevada. Because our original plan was just to go to California, but we're thinking we might go north in Nevada and hit up Great Basin National Park. But we will see. Springs. Yep. But that's it for this video. What? I think Trin has something to say. What? Trin? What? What did you want? Okay. That's it. So happy trails and. And. More to come? And. I forgot my line. And. Catch you in the next one.